here's what we got. It's the tracker metal detector. We're going to unbox it and see what it's all about here. And, uh, looks like all it is slid in there. in place yeah. nothing in there right here is your owner's manual my owner's manual. They got a lot of great products there. Looks like on the back you can check out. Order your free copy of WTN publication at www.fisherlab.com forward slash magazine Fisher Research Labs. World Treasure News. World Treasure News. How cool is that? So, this looks like the bottom part. And pretty much looks like it's all sealed up. One, um, one complete box. That's all that's in that. And this is right here. <clears throat> I went to Verizon today too. And I got this right here. It is a um, jet pack. Think of it here in a minute. Basically, just a little uh, hot spot called the jet pack. <clears throat> From Verizon. This is uh, the box that came in. Great little thing. That's what I'm streaming this from right now. And uh, I got the high definition and, you know trying to get everything going so I can uh, show you the products I get and show you my day-to-day -day life because I am retired and I drink black rifle coffee and order my shirts from article 15 clothing what else you want to know about me oh yeah former 13 foxtrot you know attached to third 75th anybody knows that is you know damn rest in peace captain ripto Fine ass man from what little I knew him. It's just stuff like that's hard to get over when uh, when you didn't die in Iraq or Afghanistan or wherever. Even Vietnam, I just couldn't imagine uh, Vietnam setting, the jungle, the swamps. My heart goes out to every combat and every veteran, uh, every race of every kind. And uh, so this is what I do now. I reveal myself, and believe it or not, true story. I've been getting contacted by fucking Genesis. How ridiculous is that? And uh, I'm gonna make a video about it, like a little parody, and put the real screenshots and real pictures. And like, I tracked this dude down to SWAT, Pakistan. His name, uh, uh, Sadiq, kept calling me, uh,
kept calling me my uh, me his friend. Oh, James. I was like, hey, you know my name? He's like, Facebook. I was like, okay. Because he called me through Facebook Messenger. I thought some of my buddies over in Afghanistan playing a trick on me. Well, it wasn't no trick, and it wasn't buddies in Afghanistan or anywhere else around the intercontinental United States and outside. It was not a trick. This was the real deal, Holyfield. I got a picture, a screenshot on my phone of his passport. Of his passport. I tried to uh, tell him, go outside, let me see what, let me see outside. He would never go outside. I don't know why. He followed every other order pretty good. Um, he showed me around the room because I was like, ah, oh, you know, I started naming, you know, some guys who would play some trick on me like that who were probably in Afghanistan, and I just, uh, it blew my mind. It was the real deal. So, uh, uh, I'll put some screenshots up. It's crazy. I even contacted the FBI about it. They have uh, FBI.com. I went there, found an application for reporting suspicious activity, and filled out a whole a detailed report to the FBI. I know I talk a lot about Illuminati and UFOs and all that crazy crap. You know, that's what it is. It's crazy crap. If it's real, it's crazy crap. If it's not, it's crazy crap. Either way, it doesn't matter. Does it affect your everyday life? No, it doesn't. Are the aliens coming down and taking your small children? <laughs> That's a different story. But it doesn't matter. Is it affecting me? No. Is it affecting you? No. Does crop circles affect you? No. Yeah. No. Uh, I don't know. Comment below if they do. But anyway, you know, I mean, have I had uh, my doubts and my worries about the strange loud sounds from 2009 on up that are still currently happening around the world and if you don't know about that research it do i care about a amateur uh video footage of a rocket being stopped somewhere in the upper atmosphere due to no one really knows they tried to say the video's a hoax and then it's real and then it's flat earth and then it's oh we're in a there's a dome there's a firmament over the earth who cares? Donald Trump is the president. I believe in Copernicus and Archimedes and Socrates and Plato. And I like Beethoven and Bach and Chichinsky. I like him or her. No, it's him. Russian. You know, I go way back. My heritage probably goes back to Auschwitz. You know, I am German. I am the German. J. Guten Tag. Guten Morgen. Boss is lost. How you doing? I would love to go back to my homeland and be under socialist, you know, you know, a cap on the electricity usage. Send me there. As long as they got Wi-Fi. Huh. Yeah? <laughs> I mean, Wi-Fi. Nikola Tesla? Really? He's not even around anymore. Oh, it's Google and DARPA. DARPA and Google coming together like this? That's what we need. But anyway, if you want to send me a Bilderberg invitation because I've got some views political environmental social astronomical oh yeah and God probably wants me to be there send it to google.com I'm just kidding I'm making that up there is no such thing as google.com but true story uh, if you want to send me, uh, you know, get me in on the.
army 0 f 0 n e zero zero seven one three at gmail.com. Anyway, let's get back to this gold thing. This thing right here is going to be delicious. <clears throat> Good catch, honey. So, as Goldman attempts to put this together without reading the directions, I think it's pretty cut and dry and pretty simple and pretty simple. It's like erecting one of the old school, you got like pole after pole you put together the telescopes out, telescopics out, and it like, it might pick up like five, seven, love you, five to seven clicks away. Like it might do that. I ain't gonna tell the real value because I don't even think they told me the real value, so it really don't matter, does it? And I'm not the one, you know, I'm not a whistleblower who is like, oh, well, I'm going to talk about those operations and how I this and how I that. That's not me. What happened, what happened, and God Almighty, it's harder than hell to put behind you, but you know what? I have inspirational people that I've seen go through a heck of a lot worse than what I did. You know, IED, yeah. Who wasn't hit with an IED? But Derek Weida and Matt Best and Rocco and all them, you know, hardcore ranger operators, you know, I mean, even some marine guys, which, hey, I know some pretty badass guys. But to see what they did and what they came through and feel the struggles that they feel on an internal level, I feel like I'm part of it. I feel like I can do my part and help out, do what I can. Because uh, Camouflage Veterans started that nonprofit. Got my 50C3 file back in 2007. Ran it for a while, made some cookbooks, veteran recipes from the VA. I was going through a lot of stuff. And, and after I got rated 100%, it was like I started going and talking with Veterans Incorporated. They indoctrinated me as a, a member into their organization and uh, Veterans for Peace, Debbie Clark, she was a big inspiration. She helped me out a lot, got my car payment paid and I wasn't, you know, rated anything at that time. Things were, I, I was making the transition. I was, I went through private treatment and they talk, told me I had PTSD and I didn't even really understand what they were talking about until I had to relive some of the times that I'd been blocking out when I was in Iraq. And now I got a lot of veteran backing and support, especially combat veterans, you know, sitting around talking and smoking and joking and next thing you know, it's like, oh man, yeah, I went to that same chow hall. So, and I've met a lot of old, old veterans, real old, because uh, they didn't like how I was done, but my grandfather, Commander uh, Sergeant Major James Dow, First Cow, and Command Sergeant Major Alan Brewer, he was there when I graduated uh, basic training. He's a great man. He put my drill sergeant in parade rest. <laughs> drill Sergeant Cardoza. Love you, man. Kentucky. Tennessee connection there. 
You knew I was country wild. I showed you. Anyway, let's get the head of this on here. Because, uh, this is taking forever for me to put together. Normally, I'd already have this done. And everything would, would already be finished, but... <clears throat> I get to talking, and this just slides in. You just got to push there, and it slides in, shortens it, and raises it, and all that good stuff. So, I mean, this is basically it. Just about completely assembled. And if you remember the, and if you remember the name of that radio. Um, it's not a radio, it's actually just a, <sighs> sends the signal farther, it's a range extender basically for the AMPRC 16s, 19s, whatever they were. loose there. Sneak this around. What's that is about what you want to do. And I hate when that happens. It's like all of a sudden you get a huge ringing in this ear where it just sucks, put it that way. Ask anybody who's been around large explosions. And they'll tell you all about it. And see. That just slides up in there like that. And then what you do is put the batteries in right here. This is where your nine bolts go. Two nine bolts, what it recommends. So that's what we'll do. Go run and get some batteries and be right back. <laughs> 